Hi there! We are going to work on summarizing the amazing story of potato pans. If you didn't watch and listen to the story, go check it out before you do this activity. Okay? So summarize, remember summarize means to tell a shortened version of the story that tells the most important parts. So our key words here are shortened, so we're not retelling the whole entire story. Okay, shortened version with the most important parts. Okay, and there is a great comprehension strategy that we can use to help us summarize a story. It's called somebody wanted, but so then. Say that with me. Somebody wanted, but so then. All we have to remember are those five words or those five letters. So if you have this paper, you are going to use it today um, to do the summarizing with me. And here it is. S for somebody, W for wanted, B for but, S for so, and T for then. Okay, so you will be needing this paper and something to write with. If you if you can't print off this paper, it's fine. You can just get a blank piece of paper, scrap paper, whatever. Um, fold it, don't fold it, but just write a capital S, leave some space, capital W, B, S, T, S, W, B, S, T. Okay, and we are going to be doing the writing portion over here. So if you need to get those materials real quick, go ahead and pause the video and then we'll get started. So the first part of our summarizing strategy is to think about the S, which stands for somebody. Hmm, who is the main character in this story? Who is the somebody? The somebody is who? Potato. So in this story, it was about potato. So we're gonna write potato down next to our S. And potato is his name, so make sure you start with that capital P for potato. So, potato, what did he want? You know what he wanted. Go ahead and shout it out so your neighbors can hear. Potato wanted potato pants, right? He wanted potato pants. He wanted them, he wanted them so, 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 so bad, right? Potato wanted potato pants. But somebody wanted but. Why couldn't he get his pants? What happened? <gasps> You're right. He did not, he didn't want to go in the store with the eggplant. So somebody, our potato, really wanted potato pants, but eggplant was in the store, and potato did not want to go in because of that eggplant. So let's write down our B. Why didn't potato go in that store? But he did not want to go inside with a plant. Leak. And we know why he didn't want to go inside, right? So what happened since he couldn't go inside the store? What did Potato do? Somebody wanted but so. So... He, Potato, stood outside and the last pair of pants was sold, right? He didn't want to go inside, but Potato didn't want to go inside. So he stood outside and all of the pants got sold. Oh man, that is just so sad, isn't it? Really wanted those Potato pants, remember? He really wanted them. So let's write down our so. So potato stood outside. And the last pair of pants were sold. 
old. Mm. Then, so somebody wanted, but so then. Then is our resolution. So how does this story come to an end? How do these characters solve their problems? Think for a second. Hmm. Let's talk about it now. Then he realized he misunderstood, right? He misunderstood eggplant and got the last pair of potato pants. So he really did get the last pair. Remember in the mannequin pants, he got the very last pair, but he only got the very last pair because him and eggplant had that conversation where they forgave each other inside the store, right? So then potato realized he misunderstood eggplant and ended up getting the last pair of potato pants. And I guess you could also say that him and eggplant were very excited together. So let's real quick write down our T for then. So he realized, he misunderstood. And you can put your summary in your own words. I always encourage that to really do that thinking for yourself. Because you guys are so, so smart. He realized he misunderstood eggplant and got the very last pair of pants. I'm going to say, and was super excited again, right? So that is a great summarizing strategy to use the somebody wanted, but so then strategy, right? And all you need for any book that you read, you could use this strategy. You could write down these letters and talk about what happens in that story. Somebody wanted, but so then. I challenge you to go teach that to at least one person in your house right now. It could be your dog, even they care about these things too, okay? so. Great job getting smarter with me today, learning with me today, having fun with me today. All about the story Potato Pants by Lori Keller. Bye everyone! Stay tuned for more exciting videos uh, and activities for Potato Pants.